Yes, I know the law enforcement that stands behind me is serious about it. I'm serious about it. If you're caught DUI in Montgomery, it is a top priority in my office. If you kill someone while you're DUI, you will be charged with the crime of murder and prosecuted just as if you put a gun to somebody's head. And that means a long sentence. So you're looking at long sentence, you're looking at thousands of dollars of fees, legal fees, and fines. We're serious about it. Do not drink and drive. Let's all have fun, let's all be safe, and let's get rid of that statistic. And let's make next time Alabama 50th in the nation in those type of things. I want to introduce Jess Thornton with the Aaliyah and just want to say a few words. Yeah, I'm Cooper for Jess Thornton with Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. Fourth of July is a time for celebration. But for troopers, it's going to be a time for work. Uh, troopers, state troopers across the state will be patrolling our highways and waterways in an effort to keep the public safe. In 2019 so far, state troopers have worked over 260 traffic fatalities across the state. So that number is down, but we would like to see it at zero, obviously. Unfortunately, over the next several days, that number is probably going to go up. And uh, it doesn't have to, with the, some cooperation from the public, that number doesn't have to go any higher than what it is. Uh, what we're seeing though is we don't work accidents. State troopers are in the business of working crashes and collisions. And they're happening because of driver error. They're happening because of mistakes behind the wheel, driving impaired, speeding, breaking the law, driving distracted, uh, not practicing those defensive driving like motorists should be doing. Uh, we're going to be out over the next several days and we're going to be looking for those things that cause crashes, that cause people to lose their lives. And this is the warning that we're given right now beforehand. We're going to be out, we're going to be looking for those type things. If we encounter someone behind the wheel of a vehicle or operating a vessel impaired by alcohol or drugs, there won't be any warnings issued over that. They will go to jail. If we work any type of collision or crash that involves somebody getting injured or killed, we will work with the local district attorney's office and we will aggressively prosecute that case with some type of homicide or assault, assault charge. So please, we're giving you the, the, the warning now. We're going to be out, we're going to be looking for those type things to try to keep the public safe. Last year during this time, we worked eight fatalities over the board. We'd like to see that number at zero, obviously, at the end of the week. And I think we can do that with some cooperation from the public. Please drive defensive, understand that the highways and the waterways are going to be congested. Exercise some patience behind the wheel or on that vessel. Make sure everybody in that vehicle is buckled up and do not get behind the wheel and drive. Thank y'all. I don't know a better person than Carolyn Tyus. Carolyn, unfortunately, has lost two of her children, one to DUI homicide. And it's personal to me because I love Carolyn with all my heart. I know my office does. She's now a victim service officer working with victims every day. But this is a difficult time of year for her. It's always difficult for her. But I appreciate her always stepping forward to try to prevent this from happening in other families. That's the reason she does it. That's the reason it keeps her going. So I appreciate you, Carolyn. Have Matt and the DA's office. Hi, how y'all doing today? I know we all love the summer and it's the 4th of July holiday coming up, but we have to designate someone to drive for us. You gotta have a plan already before you take that sip because it is 100% preventable. My son was in a death crash back May 17, 2008. He would have turned 33 this past Saturday, June 29. He has two children, they are now 14 and 15. So they'll never get, he'll never get to see them graduate. He, he can't go to their games or do anything like that. So I just ask that you have a non-driver person available to drive for you. We want you to have fun. We want you to enjoy your holidays and your songs. But you also got to have someone, because I don't want anyone, not anything, to incur what I've had to incur for these last 11 years. And to lose another child in like five months ago to cancer, that's not because this is 100% preventable. I'm gonna leave you with one thing. These are the things that the officer gave me. These are my son's last things. These are all I have now. And I travel with them all the time. When my son was in his crash, these are his car keys that I have. These are, this is all I have now. This is his cell phone. Did you see that thing was the little razor phone. This is what was on him. These are his keys to his apartment in his door. This is his wallet, and it contains 
the $96 that he actually had left in his pocket, in his wallet. These are pictures of his kids, of himself, his job where he worked, his credit cards. These are, this is all I have left of myself. These are the memories I have left. You, that, you don't want anybody to come and knock on your door. You don't want uh, Jeff Thornton or any of the troopers or any officer behind me. You don't want to get that knock to say that, hey, are you so and so and you just lost your money. When it is 100% before you do anything, before you take that first sip, just think. Just think about other lives in your own family. appreciate all of these officers that are standing behind me and their agencies that they represent. They will be out full force uh, over the holiday weekend looking for anyone that is driving impaired. Fifth in the nation in traffic fatalities. One in three are DUI. Let's stop that. We're serious about it. It's personal to us. We better not catch you drinking and driving. going to continue to see the number of Elias State Troopers rise and I think when that happens there's going to be more visibility out on the highways and waterways and those fatality numbers will, will come down because of that. Uh, in, in past years there obviously have been concerns about the number of Marine Patrol Troopers who were able to patrol the lake. Do you feel better about the number that we're at right now? I feel a lot better. We've, we've increased the number of troopers working in our area of waterways without a doubt. It's went, it's went way up. Visibility is noticeable, the public's noticed it. I, that's one of the best deterrences that you can have. We talked about um, drinking and driving, but another big um, deadly, I guess, encounter would be distracted driving. If you could also talk about that and the importance of not doing it. Well, anything that takes your mind off the task of driving is distracted driving. It's not only cell phones, it's talking to passengers, it's messing with the radio, anything that takes your mind off that task of driving. So distracted driving is an issue without a doubt. We work a lot of crashes due to that. Motors need to understand this weekend there's going to be more congestion on the highways than normal. Uh, exercise a little bit more patience, lead well ahead of time, and understand that you need to be 100% focused on driving because there's going to be a lot of folks out on the roadways and a lot of them is not going to be doing the things that they should be doing. So you need to be practicing those defensive driving tactics because you may be doing everything right on the road, but those around you may not be. Anything else? Thank y'all for braving the heat. <laughs> I apologize, it took us a 